The information relied on to file the complaint is detailed in the report and includes bills of lading, as well as a report by the Australian Strategic Policy Institute that identifies these suppliers as having used or benefited from Uyghur forced labour. Nike maintains that they no longer have ties with the named companies and have provided information regarding their due diligence practices that include third-party audits of their suppliers. While Nike has engaged with the core through intake and initial assessment, they have declined the opportunity to mediate the complaint. Therefore, I have decided that the complaint against Nike will proceed to investigation using independent fact-finding. The complaint set out in our second initial assessment report is that the Canadian mining company, Dynasty Gold Corp, bended from the use of Uyghur forced labor at a mine in China in which it holds a majority interest. Dynasty Gold has not provided information denying the allegations. The information relied on by the complainants is detailed in the report and includes a statement from Dynasty's CEO, Ivy Chong, acknowledging that many ethnicities, including Uyghurs, were part of all of its ranks in the workforce at the Hatu mine. Dynasty Gold's response to the complaint is that it does not have operational control over the mine and that these allegations arose after it left the region. In order to fully assess the allegations, I have decided to launch an investigation using independent fact-finding. <laughs>